Night will come, and you will suffer the same hunger. Someone who trusts you completely, a friend, will die never to wake. You confuse your voracious appetite with my itchy hunger. I would never kill a friend, nor an innocent. I believe you've discovered our defining difference. No! no! Ah! I did! I'm gathering the family for a final reunion, all smiling, all dead. Thanks to the good Dr. Reed. I will find a cure, Mary. I swear it. Then, at last, I can forgive you. Hey, it's Spirit Guy. You must prepare, child, for the earth is bleeding and the harvest is upon us. The harvest? Stay away, whoever you are. This is no time for pain. Well, it's obviously the devil. Can you not hear? The famished queen has awoken. Uh, I'm not your champion. I am not your champion. But of course you are, son. As well, he's got his player, John. The blood of my blood. I had to kill Mary. I have known your she started up. child. Do not succumb to me. Silence! I dismiss you now! The land calls for a champion. All and everyone needs you. Everyone? Silence! Okay, goodbye, Satan. I'm tired of all these puppet shows. Anywho. Uh nope, keep going. Uh They want war. I'll show them war. Whatever this poor woman did, yeah. nobody deserves this kind of punishment. John, can you really not fucking go over this? There's even a spot right there, oh my lord. He deserves a better champion. Eh, say to you, girl. To, uh, I'm gonna have to go, like, all the way around, aren't I? Oh, if I have to go around over there, ugh. Sure, I can't jump anywhere. Oh, okay. Oh, I'm starting to doubt you, John. So this is where she lives. What a splendid house! I'll take it for my own. Over her dead corpse. Long song. She has some bright lights. Dr. Reed, welcome. How are you? As good as one can be, considering the circumstances. Yes. Death and affliction seem prevailing themes of late. Please, come in. We have much to discuss. Did you tell her you killed your sister? I hope Again? I haven't disturbed you. Not at all. Actually, I was counting on you visiting me tonight. You told me to come. This painting. Beautiful, melancholic, yet with a haunting dignity. Indeed. A long time ago, a friend asked me to paint this for him. But I kept it in the end. I did not know you were a painter, my lady. There are many things you do not know about me, young Ekon. Kill her now. Why do you continue to mock me? Please excuse my behavior, Jonathan. I tend to tease my friends when uneasy. What is bothering We're friends? you, lady? Your letter was quite alarming. We will talk about this in a few minutes. For now, I would like you to tell me about yourself. How have you been since we last met, my friend? Mm, 
Must be powerful. I came to the conclusion that my maker, whoever he might be, must be a powerful vampire. Certainly extremely old. How have you Maybe even more than a vampire. He is the only immortal I've seen appear in an ethereal form. His voice, his words seemed ancient. It was he had horns. I am afraid you are right. The simple fact that your blood made Mary such a strong Ekon. Wait a minute, I didn't tell you that. that you must be Who are you working for? I felt this no, 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 get out of here, John. He's a trap. Like an aura every time he Kill her now. Most ancestral vampires of She'll expect it, but she won't expect it. And that's what she'll be expecting. I wonder who your maker could be. You have no idea who he could be? Some of the ancient ones fled England. Some may still be in hiding. All I know is you, my friend, are a pawn in some secret and obscure game of chess. And you're at the height of it. My sister Mary. She was made a vampire in the same way I was. She was the one killing all those people everywhere I went. Vengeance is a powerful force for those betrayed. Mm, you don't seem too surprised. Careless error. Victims by surprise. In the end, she implored me to put an end to her misery. But still, I felt I had taken her life twice. I am so sorry for my accidental cruelty. Had I known your dear Mary was still alive, I would you probably brought her back to life. I don't trust you, Asbury. There is no need to apologize, my lady. Your words have been most helpful in these difficult times. Thank you, my friend. If only we could have guided your poor sister through her terrible nightmare. I swear I did not intend that. If only I had known then how vampires are created. That is the scientist speaking. In truth, most of us do not know how it really works. Personally, I make sure my prey will not return to haunt me. What do you mean? I am merciless, Jonathan. I only feed on the dying, and I make sure they are dead before leaving their remains. I think I should ask the questions, your ladyship. After all, it was you who invited me to settle this most urgent of matters. Fair enough, Jonathan. The situation is critical. We do not have the luxury for etiquette. Please do not misunderstand me. I would be delighted to discuss mundane matters and idle trivialities. If we survive the dark nights to come, we shall have all the time in the world to speak, you and I. For now, please follow me, Jonathan. I must He's not looking at you. Stab her. Your house is exquisite. One of the advantages of living forever is having the time to be selective with one's furnishings. I took the liberty of having tea served. You can still drink tea. Can't keep it down, but I do so enjoy the aroma. Let us toast to make believe. And of course, to your health, Jonathan. It is poison. To yours, my lady. Throw her face. Please, call me Elizabeth. So, my lady, why truly did you invite me here? I've been asked to deliver an official invitation to meet the Ascalon Club. Who are they? Really? They are the embodiment of vampire law in Britain. Some say they influence the destiny of the Empire. Some believe they merely protect it. How many are they? Only a small number of powerful and deceitful immortals. All of them entangled in a sticky web of shadow cabinets, influencing trade. Will they fight the guard of Prewen? I doubt it. Fergal was Lord Redgrave's executioner forever and a day. By defeating that beast, you deprived them of a powerful weapon. So now they want his replacement. Why use you? I'm just the second fiddle around here. We are close. 
The Ascalon Club has many spies. Their main occupation is gathering information and then deciding how to use it. Have they threatened you in any way? Not at all. Their message surprised me at first, but it is only logical considering the critical situation in London. Not critical yet. Why not ask? I haven't killed everybody. Since you are obviously a powerful and influential immortal yourself. You have to understand that I am invisible to the eyes of Ascalon, for I am a woman. That suits me well, as long as they leave me alone. Should I trust them? Of course not. No. Shouldn't trust anybody. Understand me. Especially Asper. Be very useful. Killer. But I believe their long-term goals differ from yours. Gouge your eyes out. Why meet them then? Because nothing truly important can be achieved in this city without their consent. They could be powerful allies in this current situation. Should I lie to them? We all lie, Jonathan. It falls to you to choose your behavior. See, she even told her she's lying. The rule is to show them due respect. They have done nothing but impede my investigations since I became known to them. Why would they want to see me now? I guess they now see you as Ascalon material. They must have found out what happened to your sister. Proof of the potent blood flowing through your veins. I'm not sure I can accept their invitation. I have seen their handiwork. How Fergal the Beast imposed the club's law. You have no choice, Jonathan. Even I would not openly defy Lord Redgrave, the chairman of the Ascalon Club. Nah, you can take him, John. What can you tell me about Lord Redgrave? Who is he? Lord Where does he live? Is the What's sleep schedule? Chairman of the Ascalon Club. Most mortals know him as the Earl of Bristol. He is rich and extremely influential. Have you met him? Only on rare occasions, for he never goes outside the club. And women are not awarded membership, even immortals. How old is he? How long has he been a vampire? Lord Redgrave claims to be the progeny of William Marshall, the most Ooh. valiant knight who ever lived. Who? That is true. He could be very old. How powerful is his reach? The Ascalon About two feet. may be the most influential secret society in England. Not all its members are immortals. Mm, tell me about they these other societies. Powerful. They are not all immortals. How is that? The club is mainly comprised of political figures who seek the safety and expansion of the empire. The most loyal are awarded immortality. Any familiar or famous names? As the richest, most John Redfield. British tycoon, Aloysius Dawson is considered ideal Ascalon material and has been watched for years. If you are convinced I must meet him, I will heed your advice. Thank you, Jonathan. I understand your reluctance to brush shoulders with London's vampire elite, but we have no choice. Is the we always have a choice. Critical? Yes. The guard of Prewen has called for a second great hunt of our kind, and they will stop at nothing to eliminate us. I can take him. Will the guard of Prewen and the Ascalon Club fight each other? I doubt it. If Prewen really launched a great hunt, I think most of the Ekons I know would flee the country to escape the bloodbath. I think I saw them kill an Ekon on the way to your house. They seem to have a list with names. To launch another great hunt, they must have collected intelligence on vampire identities and whereabouts. They are a resourceful lot. Should we fight back? I will not be hunted down like an animal again. I admire again. your courage, Jonathan. But the best way to fight them is to put an end to the epidemic. This is the only way to clear the air. What is a great hunt? The first great It's a hunt that's great. Was launched about 75 Context clues, John. Context clues. A few nights, the guard of Prewen 
located and destroyed most of the old British vampires. Why start a second one? Prewen has always seen us immortals as a threat to mankind. My guess is well, I am. expect one or more of us is the they should fear me. Epidemic. How did you survive the first hunt? I fled, Jonathan. Like most vampires who survived that slaughter. And I secretly came back when I was sure they had lost my trail. You should flee then. Leave London, the country even. I have seen the guard in action. They are merciless. I can help you leave in a body bag. Jonathan. But fear not. If the situation gets too dangerous, I shall retreat to my secret Scottish manor. I could hide no, it's not so secret now that I know it. You wish. Thank you for the offer. I shall keep it in mind, but I have much to do here. There is a question I must ask you. Could Lord Redgrave be my maker? I doubt it. If Lord Redgrave had made you his progeny, he would not have seemed so surprised when you demonstrated the strength of your lineage. Mm, I get the One gist. Day soon, I will have to find the answer to this mystery. And I shall help you in your research, I promise. For now, you must go to the Ascalon Club and play their game. Will I see you again at the Pembroke Hospital? No, you will find me here if you need me. I shall conduct inquiries alone, and we can then share our discoveries. Mm, see ya. I want to thank you for all your support and your help, my lady. Could you do she me hasn't a done anything. favor and call me Elizabeth? I should be honored, my lady. Then it is settled. Finally, some don't call her that in these dark hours. Thank you. I appreciate the advice. I had best prepare myself to meet this Lord Redgrave now. How thrilling to meet the Earl of Bristol in the flesh, so to speak. Something tells me you're not very keen on the man. Don't get me wrong. She kind of went into that. The gentlemen of the Ascalon Club are honorable, but their attitude and opinions are somewhat antiquated. <laughs> I see. As long as they deny access to female applicants, I will leave them to their antediluvian considerations as to the natural order. Antediluvian. Jonathan, promise me you'll be careful. I have one shiny coat. Of course. But why the fear in your voice? Look at me, Jonathan. I am. I mean, really look at me, young Ekon. We don't consent. We don't uh, can. What's the, what's the word? Starts with a C. Uh, uh. We may be deceptive fuck. by nature. It's when you give permission to do something. The truth. Uh, consent. Oh. Elizabeth. Snap her neck. Go, my friend. But come back to me soon. Come back and sub that scythe up her middling area. Do vampires need to sleep? I'd imagine so. I'd imagine they get tired. Can they get sick? Like the flu and stuff? Huh. Do you know where you are standing right now? In front of the Ascalon Club, I presume. The Ascalon Club only summons or ostracizes. What is your business tonight? I received an invitation. I'm Dr. Jonathan Reed. Welcome to the Ascalon Club, then, Dr. Reed. Please proceed. Lord Redgrave is waiting on you upstairs. Oh, you already started the killing. There has been quite a battle here. I'm sure the Ascalon Club has the money to replace the furniture. Oh, there's a lot of people in here. 
I gotta kill all these people? My good friends, if I may have your attention. Behold our visitor, the good Dr. Reed. New Aye. blood so pure and strong that even my friend Fergal Bansher was no match for him. Friend? He didn't mention you at all. Come forward, young Ekon, for we have so much to discuss. What would happen if I killed you right now? Dr. Reed. I am Lord Redgrave, Earl of Bristol, and Chairman of this exclusive association. Lord Redgrave. At last we meet. I've been eager to make your acquaintance. I Lift your head up, John. Things about you. He's not better than you. Who does he think he is? Please accept my condolences for your loss, Dr. Reed. Thank you. Which one? I've lost Lady like six Asprey's people already. Wish to meet me. Yes, the lady has always been a useful acquaintance, though not always reliable. Is she a good friend of yours? Mm, she's useful. She has proved to be helpful on many occasions. Hmm. The centuries have taught me never to trust a woman completely, especially if she is immortal. Too prone to emotions, if you ask me. Too I could just throw you through that window. My lord. Dash over to that candle holder. Lady Ashbury. Of course not, and I praise your loyalty. Start hitting people with it. For the same fidelity to the Empire. What do you mean? I speak of this scowl plague that threatens London and the country. You have been on the front line. In I wonder what's in that book. But the time has come to open up a second front here. The epidemic has escaped the quarantine. You have new cases of the outbreak. We don't know for certain. But we cannot allow the disease to threaten the prominent heads of Great Britain. Why have you asked me here? Because the crisis is escalating. Our enemies, the Guard of Prewin, have even launched... Why does this guy remind me of Kennedy? The only way to calm things down. Like the way he talks. To the epidemic. You want me to find possible... The only thing we have to fear is fear itself. Straight to the point, like all eager newborns. We shall have time to talk about all this, Dr. Reed. But first, I should like to get to know you better. Talk? It wasn't me, I swear. Is that the only reason you asked me here? Well... Yeah, he's rich and fancy. All they do is talk. Talk, 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 talk. Progeny of his sister. It's not like they do anything with their money. The name of your maker, am I correct? No, I haven't. Have no embarrassment, Dr. Reed. We all make mistakes. But whatever your lineage, you are definitely Ascalon material. What do you mean? I would like you to become a member of the Ascalon Club and to serve me as such. Before I accept, I have so many questions. Please ask. Okay, mm I guess we're asking all these Does questions. To be a member of the Ascalon Club. It means that you swear to protect the interests of the Crown. That you become a loyal servant of the British Empire. Do you have any official recognition from the government? A charter from His Majesty the King? No. Of course, the Ascalon Club publicly supports the Empire. But the true nature of its members remains a secret. Am I supposed to follow orders? As founder and chairman of the club, I alone am entitled to make demands of our members. And I do appreciate obedience. Oh, I don't obey very well. What is the Ascalon Club's express? Disobeying is kind of an we itch. We follow the credo of William Marshall, the greatest knight who ever lived. As was he, we are sworn to protect the British Empire. What does Ascalon mean? Ascalon was the lance wielded by St. George, glorious patron saint of England, when he slew the dragon. And like that lance, we pierce the Are dragons real too? Enemies. Can I meet a vampire dragon? William Marshall founded the Ascalon Club. Not exactly, 
William Marshall granted me immortality, and I founded the club a few years later. The good knight has been gone for so long. Mm, I killed one of yours. I killed Fergal, who claimed to be one of yours, sent to cleanse the East End of all scowls. Will his death be an issue? Do not worry. My priorities have changed. Fergal was a zealous servant of mine, but like any servant, he had his limitations and is readily replaced if necessary. So you're just going to replace me. Well, I'm not taking it. I'm going to join. To join the club. This is good news. Good news indeed in these crucial times. Let's inform the assembly formally and proceed with your initiation. My initiation? Fear not. Nothing fancy nor dangerous. It is just that we, the members of Ascalon, believe that tradition and custom are the backbone of this country. Oh, I'll show you a backbone. Literally. My fellow members. I rip it friends, out of you. Please gather and welcome this Ekon as one of our own. Is he worthy? Is his blood pure? Uh. Well, why are they all talking in unison? In front of the most sacred blood. The blood of our beloved William Marshall. Speak now. Will you serve and protect the crown as he did? Yes. I will. Then your I'll Ekon protect my crown when I take it from blood. Henry? Harry? It is time to sign Richard? The book of Who's the king? I know it's awkward. Charles? And a tad pedantic, but England's traditions are the backbone of our nation. Zhang, you're just signing your name. Oh. 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 That sanitized. Ew. Mm, delightful. Welcome to the Ascalon Club. I'm going to enjoy throwing you out Take that window. Place among the bearers that one right there. Lance. Or that one. One of us. Yeah, you better sit down, old man. Cause I'm coming for you next. Rah! <laughs> 